Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to have a test run of this um, how much paint you actually require that I've been sent by a beautiful girl. Um, she contacted me through my Facebook page and she's like here yeah, this is the calculations so um, I'm going to put the calculations along the bottom as I talk about them and basically what it is is um, one milliliter of paint per square inch of your that you want to cover which um, is quite intriguing to me uh, it doesn't feel like there's enough, but we're going to test that out, see what that's got, to, whether or not. Now, what she actually said was, you calculate the square inches, or the area in inches, <clears throat> and then divide it by 30 to get the number of fluid ounces of paint. Now, I don't function in inches or fluid ounces, I function in centimetres or millimetres, and um, <clears throat> milliliters, meters and liters, not ounces and inches. Anyway, so I can cope with inches. I even have a ruler that measures in inches. So pretty much what she said, same, I mean, so basically you're calculating the area. So if you've got a, a rectangle or a square, you measure the two lengths, two sides, um, and then you times those together so so that one's 10 by 80 um 10 by 8 inches <laughs> 10 by 80 that'd be an impressive canvas um then 10 times 8 equals 80 and then you divide that by 30 to get the fluid ounces now there's actually 30 milliliters in a fluid ounce so that's really easy you just don't divide it even easier calculation so I'm going to give it a go. I'm doing it on this little 45 record, which um, when we measure across the middle, it's around about seven inches. Now you've got to remember when you're using a canvas that a canvas has sides. So you have to count, add in the area of the sides as well as the top. Otherwise you won't have enough. Um, so pi r squared. So r is three and a half inches. Pi r pi times r squared actually comes out at um, 38.25 or something ridiculous um, so pretty much we're looking at 40 milliliters of paint just roughly um, so what I've done is I got my little shot glass and this is 2cl which is like a center centimeter is 10 millimeters a centiliter is 10 milliliters God. my brain's still not quite over being sick this is confusing me and i'm a mathematician by trade how does it get any better um so 40 milliliters is two times 2cl so that's what I did I measured out two lots of these put it into this tin here because as you all know I usually work in my tins so that's roughly how far up the tin I need to be with my paint so I'm going to use that as my example one I'm going to pop that down there and get another paint tin and this is going to be the tin that I do my flip cup with so all those calculations and information are going to be down below probably hopefully if I remember um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this light blue or cobalt blue from Reeves and then I'm going to put a little bit of now that's got silicon in it then I'm going to add a little bit of my Reeves white 
And then I'm going to use up some of these metallics that I've still got sitting around. Ooh, I need stirring. So these have all had silicon put in them at some stage in their life on the planet. I'm just going to layer these because I can. So we've got peacock pearl and then we've got our berry which is bloop, bloop, thick. Let's water that one down a bit. Do, 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 do. That's stirring the silicon in way too much. If ever I heard, saw it, but there we go. All done. So. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I like these metallics. And I've got a really small amount of the purple pearl left. Really small amount. Um, Now, how are we going for our quantity? I think we're getting close, but we're not quite there. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the peacock. And some more of the purple, because there's not enough more purple for anything else. When you're scraping your can out like that, you've got to be careful not to scrape the sides and get big hunks. And I'm pretty sure that's reasonably even. But me being me, I just want a bit of white. There we go. So, oops. Take that out of here so it doesn't get covered. Um, I'm going to do a super quick flip. Uh, see how it goes. One, two, three. Boop. Oh, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Yay! Now, for those of you that have watched any of my videos, you will know that as soon as I have this on here, I've got my spinning machine. Um, and because I haven't done any spinning for a while, I was like, I've done all these records and I haven't spun any of them it's so weird so let's lift that lid off and see what we get and looking at the quantity there I would say that that seems quite accurate actually. I'm just going to go around the edges and just drain this cup off. Because one of the things that I have found in the past when using the spin is getting the paint evenly out to the edges. Um, is one of the the difficult parts so just while that paint is sitting there doing its thing I'm just gonna tap this out and then we'll hit the hit the go button are we ready let's see what gets created um, and I don't think we're going to need to spin it much, to be honest, with this much paint on here. It's really cool. I'm actually going to, it's 
to spin up on a low level. Nah, crank it up. There she goes. Covered. How's it getting easier than that? Wow. Holy Toledo. I'm loving it. That is pretty. I'm going to get it off here though, because otherwise it's going to get ruined. Now, where's a tin for me? Just tip my water out. And pop that back up on there. Um, well, We've definitely got enough paint, that's for sure. So I'm going to play with this recipe each time from now on and just see how we go. But I'm liking it so far. And as that silicon comes up, I really like this. This is nice. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Definitely definitely liking it there goes the silicon <laughs> can you see it oh my crikey goodness hello hello cells how does it get any better than that wowza Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Yes, I like it. I like it, I like it. I'm quite liking how the purple is bleeding into the white sometimes I like it when it does that when it bleeds okay let me show you what I mean by bleeding okay so you see how it's kind of powdery down here where the purple hits the white I like it like that it's when it goes crusty and crunchy and like, I don't know, cornflakes in a bowl. That I'm not so fussed over it. Well, while it's up here, I may as well show you what, how much beauty there is in this one. those cells aren't they pretty I like it now it's not actually that obvious, but down in here, there is a huge number of cells within the purple. And because they're metallics, if it's, it's probably going to stay looking like that, which is super cool. Can you guys see that? It's just those dents, they look like dents in the... In here. I like that. I like it a lot. Alright, well, I'm going to put that one down to dry. And uh, I think I might have another play. So, thanks for joining me for this video. And how much fun can you have today? Whether you're painting or not. What else is possible? Bye-bye. Well, this one has 
reminded me just how much black hides our lumps and bumps with our clothing. Um, check out that gigantic ridge around the label area. Um, I so did not notice that ridge before I painted it, but now that it's a different colour other than black, it is so, so obvious. How does it get any better than that? But it has dried, other than the ridge, almost identical. Um, it's so pretty. Look at the um, metallics in there. It's so beautiful. Oh, check that out. That's pretty cool. Can you guys see? It's almost like there's something walked across the the painting. That's funky. Reminds me a bit of a purple snake skin. How does it get any better? Alright, well, there you go. I love it. Very grateful. That looks very cool. I adore it. How does it get any better than that? So thanks for joining me here at Mickey Art. And what else is possible next? Yay!